happened. You know, you raise a very important point. Kwame Krumah was very keen on building what he called the United States of Africa, which Gaddafi was also talking about. There was a big debate in 1963 at the OAU formation between Nyerere and Kwame Krumah. Kwame Krumah was saying, ladies and gentlemen, let us not get too comfortable in our little states. Let's quickly move to the United States of Africa. Because when you become too comfortable in your nation state, you don't want to relinquish your position as president. Nyerere was saying, no, 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 let's do it brick by brick. We move slowly, gradually to integration. We build a Sadak type institution. We build ECOWAS. We build Maghrib. And then eventually, we have the United States of Africa through regional, through a gradualism. But that was a problem because that's what they decided to do. Kwame lost in that debate. And so they went the route of gradualism. Now, here's the problem. When we are successful, as the African Union, when you have the United States of Africa, there will be one president in the whole continent. Now, tell those African leaders. <laughs> <laughs> there will be no president in Malawi. There will be no president in Zimbabwe. There will be no president in South Africa. Maybe the guy will be from Cameroon. Cyril Ramaphosa will be Minister of Tourism for Africa. Is he ready? Emerson Nangago will be Minister of Chiefs for Africa. Is he ready? <laughs> Mutarika will be a chief. So, so the African leader is the stumbling block. They want to be president of starving people. America has 300 million people and a GDP of $19 trillion. They have one president. They're doing just fine. China, $11 trillion. Population, 1.2 billion people one president, and they're doing just fine. So it's possible for this whole continent to be run by one cabinet with one president. But the current leaders, little Botswana, little South Africa, are not ready. So they talk regional integration, they don't action it. So Krumah was right, Gaddafi was right.